individually as one user, I want to be able to decide what bread I want and when I want it, how many loaves I want. So that is an individual choice. As a group, we can decide on how to efficiently get that done, how to create a bakery that gets me my sourdough, you your pumpernickel, you your rye, and all of the above for a family of 20 who likes it all. Um, creating the bakery from scratch and having to be in competition with everybody else is what currently exists. So you don't just make pumpernickel for yourself. You figure out how to make it for the five of you and enough people to make that efficient. But you're in competition with everyone else, which makes it not efficient. Getting 10,000 people together to say, how do we make our, get our 10,000 families' bread's needs made? That's doable. And how do we bring that cost down? How do we share in that labor? How do we bulk buy ingredients to make it cheaper? At a local level, we do that. We figure out how many of us need a bakery. Then we create the bakery. We bake the bread locally because bread's better locally. We make the decisions on what the packaging is that is efficient, how we get it to us, the user. Is it delivered? Is one woman leaving with all the trucks and going delivering each individual bread? That sounds like not a great option, but when we also solve it for vegetables and eggs and milk and together we get it delivered, that sounds like a great option. So there's, then regionally. Regionally, we wanna be able to bulk buy ingredients with not just our bakery, but other bakeries. We wanna be able to um, start a niche bakery. Well, it turns out not everyone wants pumpernickel rye or sourdough. Some people are gluten-free. Are there enough gluten-free people to have a local bakery that's gluten-free and have it be cheap? Maybe not. What about a larger region? How, many, how big of a region do we need to have that 10,000 people? So there's things that make sense to do regionally, probably milling it until we get to the point where we have local mills in our bakeries that grind it fresh so that it maintains its, its nutritional value. But we can decide on that, right? Does it make sense to mill ourselves? We can decide globally what makes sense. Well, the machines in the bakeries don't make sense for us to have locally or regionally. We don't all need a, we all need bread. We need it to be baked in ovens. We don't need an oven making factory in every town. The parts that go into those machines, as well as the other thing that's done on a global scale is the technology that goes into running the bakery, to managing the inventory, to managing the labor, to have the feedback system to know how much bread should we be baking. Feeds back from the customer themselves saying, here's what the bread I want. They themselves don't wanna have an app just to order bread. They want an app to order all of their groceries, which goes to the individual makers and gets compiled into one, one um, delivery and then given to you. I don't wanna to have to wait by the door for every, every loaf of bread, everything of eggs, everything of milk. I want it delivered to me. I don't want it to feed back into the system my individual needs so that it knows, guess what? You get a thing of milk every week. Here you go. You get bread every so this often. It goes moldy. Maybe you need half a loaf of bread. Your neighbor also likes bread and also the same thing happens. We're gonna give you each half a loaf if you would like. If you want a whole loaf and you want it to be thrown out moldy every week, by all means, power to you. The technology is can be global and it can help you as an individual have more autonomy on your choices, as well as how to collectively work together to have a gluten-free bakery, to have a peanut-free bakery, to get your allergy needs met or your taste needs met. You have a weird choice, like it's your favorite loaf of bread, but no one else likes it. Maybe we can make it for you one day a year. You can come in and use the equipment and make it yourself and store it in the freezer if that's a, feas if that's a feasible thing to do. Together we can share in innovation and recipes on our technology. Nothing is mandatory. You don't have to share your innovation with everybody. You don't have to share your grandmother's recipe with everyone. But if everybody else is innovating and you have a new way to innovate to shave off two seconds, the next person's innovation is going to shave off another two seconds and another second. And so we're all going to be able to benefit off of sharing that innovation. If we all have the recipes available, then we can say which one we want locally and, and make those ones, make the ones that work for the most people, but then the niche bread can get made more, more regionally. 
and create the technology that makes it efficient without ever demanding the individual give up their autonomy and empowering the group to make decisions together and giving them the technology to make that feasible that has the feedback system so that less stuff is going to waste. We're getting more bread out of less labor. We're getting a delivery system that doesn't just work for bread, it works for everything. We're getting when there's an innovation on, we don't want it in paper because it doesn't keep it fresh and we don't want it in plastic because plastic's bad for the environment. Oh, you have a solution? You came up with a hemp bag that we can just put it in there? How fast can you make those hemp bags? We as a region, we as a, as a bakery can say, yes, we want to use yours. And we want other people to use yours too because it's a solution that helps the planet. When innovation happens, you already have your customers ready to go. Just it, like, we want to use your hemp bag, thank you. <laughs> instead of needing to fight in the competitive marketplace to find the people who might want it. Fighting against customers who are like, hemp bag, that's weird. The customers are involved in the decision-making process. And you don't have to be any more involved in the decision-making process than you have to be. You can use the bakery without having to attend bakery meetings. But then you're giving up your right to be part of those bakery meetings. We can have it be regional, we can have it be grassroots, and have the global efficiency because we're competing already on a global scale. We're competing with Google, we're competing with Facebook. We can outcompete them by using our innovation together, by coming together and creating what makes sense to be cooperative and without giving up our personal autonomy. Hope that showcased it a bit with the bakery analogy. Uh, not even analogy, let's do that. I would really like my bread to be made locally and fresh and have it not be seven bucks a loaf that I have to stand in line for delivered to my door. That sounds awesome. I want more better food now, but it's not happening now. We're creating the technology, not the bakeries. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.